this very small village is called Earstead on the Norfolk Broads on the River Ant and uh, very old church which suggests that the uh, the village was bigger. There is actually a thing called Earstead High Street or Earstead Street which is a bit of an exaggeration. Uh, it looks about as big as this street here but uh, that's going to be soon. Even today which is in, it's in February uh, 2011. It's it's, uh, it's very pleasant, and it must be when the weather gets better, uh, much nicer, uh, indeed. But even so, we've got some of the the bird songs, which even remind me of spring, including a, I thought I heard a cuckoo, but uh, maybe maybe that was wrong. A wonderful, wonderful house there with a big hedge. This is the River Ant, which leads into the Barton Broad, and um, the Barton Broad has been recently, well, the last 15 years, started to clean it out because of al algae was stopping the natural um, uh, flow of things, and so uh, introduced sort of things to kill off the algae. That was algae which was largely due to contamination coming into the lake as the Black Sea for example uh, is suffering from and uh, so it's been cleaned out you can see there's a lot of geese around here because they've left their mark It's a lovely, really peaceful sounds of nature. Quite difficult to get here as well. The little, what, little lanes didn't film it. As I came in. As can be seen, the church is uh, pretty large. And I think that once upon a time the, the estate, which I just come back from, used to be used for loading. Um, the river Ant would have been a route uh, connected to the sea, and I suppose that coal and things would have been loaded here. And uh, there's a sign saying that ice was cut in winter from the from the broad, which is just over there, and that was taken to Yarmouth and then used for packing fish with I see the wall brick and flint as a very good example. <laughs> right, let's have a look at the church. St Michael's Church is there. Once again here we see one of these uh, wonderful fonts, medieval fonts, very similar to the one in Stalham, um, in Beeston, um, and other places. Could have been the same person who constructed them. It was certainly the same company they were built for. So the St. Michael's Church. recently rethatched I've just read. First time in over a hundred years. Oh, that's quite a Catholic symbol. Uh, and a unusual organ. Let's look at the uh, 1765. A very uh, interesting Roof, ceiling, I should say. The church itself, looking from the outside of it, seems to be much older. Um, I would have thought 
Oh, I thought looking at the same. Oh, what? 600 years old. Here, yeah, this date here, 1762. 12th December 1762. So I thought the church had been on the go 300 years when that was there. Very cute uh, country church. The people who gave their lives the First World War fought four names even in a tiny village like this. So the broad's up there. I'll go in that way. Well, in fact, it's, it actually is over there. But uh, we'll have to go back that way to get to it.